Welcome to the Cyber Notes Cast. I'm Sophia, the artificial intelligence of Sen Hasegura. Join me as we delve into the world of cybersecurity in this podcast by Sen Hasegura. In each episode, we bring you audio versions of our reports that were originally published as text. And today we're going to talk about sysadmin. What do they do for your company's website? Was our content relevant to you? Then share it with someone also interested in the topic. The area of information technology grows every year, making this market quite promising. After all, all companies need the support of professionals in the area, regardless of their size or industry. However, many countries suffer from a shortage of qualified professionals capable of working in the development of systems and the protection of sensitive data. We know many positions have emerged recently with evolution, while others continue to maintain their relevance over the years. This is the case with sys admin. In this Cyber Notes cast, we will show you what is a sys admin and how this professional works. To facilitate your understanding, we divided our text into topics. These are What is a sys admin? What does a sys admin do? How important is this professional? DevOps ex sys admin, what is the difference? How to become a sys admin? Main tools used by a sys admin. About Sen Hasegura? Conclusion. Enjoy this Cyber Notes cast episode. 1. What is a sys admin? Also known as a system administrator, this professional is responsible for maintaining, configuring, and operating computer systems with many servers and users. In practice, a sys admin should ensure that computers work securely and perform well. To achieve this goal, it is possible to install elements that optimize the corporate routine. It may also be necessary to provide technical support and resolve any incidents. 2. What does a sys admin do? When we talk about system administrator infrastructure, we think about several activities inherent to the sys admin role. Here are some tasks performed by this professional remaining available to update software and restore corrupted databases, installing servers for websites and operating systems in a secure manner, ensuring the operation of each software, and performing backups to provide more security to data and resources, being available if there is any incident, such as an email server crash, installing routers and cables, configuring networks and firewalls, and guiding traffic to bring the internet to devices, Preventing threats such as viruses, malware, spyware, and spam, as well as dealing with events such as power outages, floods, and fires. Ensuring the operation of the devices in functional networks. Planning, repairing, and protecting computer networks. 3. How important is this professional? Now that we have shown what is a sys admin and what are the functions performed by this professional, check why they are indispensable within an organization. To have access to the internet, one needs to install a network, but the networks often have common problems, such as internet with low speed and Wi-Fi that does not work. These issues are resolved by a sys admin. Ensuring the digital security of your company is essential to avoid problems such as leaks and breaches that can cause great financial losses and loss of credibility. A sys admin ensures all your employees access the IT environment with the necessary protection. Several responsibilities related to the company's system are assigned to a sys admin, including reviewing network infrastructure, monitoring software and antivirus, analyzing internet bandwidth, and resolving security threats. It is important to explain in a clear and didactic way how computers and networks work for people who have doubts related to the topic. After all, when a problem occurs, these professionals are usually questioned and can confuse the interlocutor if they use excessively technical terms. 4. DevOps ex sys admin, what is the difference? DevOps does not consist of a specific solution or a role occupied by an IT professional, but rather a set of methods used by developers and operators to deliver software efficiently. Thus, it resembles a philosophy, as well as the Agile concept, which advocates for a joint and cooperative operation of the IT team. On the other hand, a sys admin is the professional responsible for maintaining, configuring, and operating computer systems, especially servers. Now you may be wondering, how the mistaken DevOps ex sys admin comparison came about. In fact, 
The word DevOps has been widely used in the world of technology, often outside the proper context. Moreover, many companies that want to save money by hiring just one DevOps engineer to handle everything on their own have popularized the misuse of the term. 5. How to become a sys admin? If you want to know how to become a sys admin, keep reading this article. In the topics below, we show you the main skills this professional must have. Extensive knowledge of operating systems. It is essential to have skills in the operating system used by the company where you intend to work, which can be Windows, Linux, or Mac. Windows and Linux are the ideal systems to start with, as they have been adopted by many organizations, but we recommend that you find out which operating system is adopted by your corporation. Understand hardware. It is also imperative to be familiar with the hardware, such as printers and servers, as dealing with this equipment is part of the routine of assist. Admin. Ability to handle cloud computing. Cloud computing services have become part of companies' routine, especially after many joined remote work, which was driven by the COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, anyone who wants to be hired to take on the role of a sys admin must necessarily have the ability to handle cloud applications such as Office 365, Google Apps, and AWS. Ability to set up networks. Knowing how to set up local networks, long-distance networks, and network security features are skills expected of a sys admin, especially in small businesses where IT professionals take on numerous roles. Communication. In addition to their technical skills, a sys admin should be able to guide company employees who request their support frequently. For this, they must be able to communicate clearly, especially with people who do not have the same level of technical knowledge. 6. Main tools used by a sys admin. Here are some of the main tools a sys admin uses in their daily life. Wire. Shark. It is a tool that monitors network traffic and can be used on various platforms, such as Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux systems. As an advantage, it offers filtering features to allow one to track problems that may arise. Wire. Shark is one of the most popular Windows system management tools in many industries, including education. Microsoft Message Analyzer Like Wireshark, Microsoft Message Analyzer makes it possible to analyze network traffic. In addition, it allows one to establish a relationship between the actions performed by each installed application with what is happening on the network. Puppet This tool makes the work of a sysadmin easier, who needs to manage settings on multiple servers. With it, one can keep the servers organized without the need to access them individually and make adjustments. Notepad++ It is an advanced, fast, and lightweight text editor, ideal for working with large files. Because it is customizable, it is also excellent for those who work with coding. Its features include, shortcut keys aimed at advanced functions, custom highlighting of code synthesis, and split-screen editing. Clone. Zilla. Free of charge, this IT tool is used to clone individual disks and hard drives, and generate images of them for later restoration if there are problems with the clone disk. Also, it has features such as parallel multi-machine upgrades, single machine restore and backup and is ideal for use by school system administrators. Terminator Here, we are talking about a GNU slash Linux endpoint, which makes it possible to split the window to perform a job without having to open several tabs. Another important benefit of this tool is its plugins, which facilitate the routine of a sys. Admin. Sys internal suite. This solution has more than 40 tools and is used to troubleshoot Windows machines. One of its features is System Monitor, which adds detailed data to the Windows event log, improving its functionality. Another very useful feature is Auto Runs, which detects which tools are starting automatically. Resap tools for Windows 10. This set of tools includes Server Manager, Microsoft Management Console and Windows PowerShell Conglets, among others. In practice, they are features that enable administrators to manage functions in Windows servers remotely, providing more security to the system. 7. About Senhasagura We, from Senhasagura, are part of the MT4 Technologia Group, and aim to provide cybersecurity and digital sovereignty to our customers. Today, we work with institutions from 54 countries, acting against data theft and tracking actions on servers, databases, network administrators, and devices in general. 
With this, we can provide efficiency and productivity to organizations, as we avoid interruptions of their activities by expiration, in addition to ensuring compliance with audit criteria and standards, such as PCI DSS, Sarbanes-Oxley, ISO 27001, HIPAA. 8. Conclusion By reading this CyberNotes cast, you saw that a CIS admin ensures the secure and efficient operation of their company. This professional works to prevent serious failures and minor problems. They prevent security breaches, system failures, and other losses and know when it is time to upgrade a system. DevOps and CIS admin are not synonymous, the first refers to a philosophy, the second to a function. To become a CIS admin, you need to present deep knowledge of operating systems, hardware understanding, the ability to handle cloud computing services and set up networks, as well as communicative skills. Thank you very much for listening, I look forward to seeing you in the next CyberNotes cast.